So, hello and welcome. My name is Brian. I'm one of the pharmacists here at the Data Lab that brings you OpenPrescribing.net. Today, I'm going to show you our price per unit or PPU tool, which is an innovative method to identify savings in your practice or your CCG. So, going to a CCG, so every practice and CCG dashboard look very similar. So, coming to Camden CCG, we can see standard measures at the top. Scrolling down to the middle of the page, savings of individual preparations. This is our PPU tool and can be found on every CCG and practice homepage. So in Camden, in the last month, our PPU tool has estimated savings of £37,000 for Camden. I say estimates, we have published our full methodology of how we developed the tool and our estimations, and we estimate that £410 million could be saved across the NHS in 12 months through the use of our tool. Uh, we know this is theoretical. We've also evaluated the impact of the tool in action in local CCGs and practices. In the first four months since the launch of our tool, we estimated that the savings of made by people using the tool of 243,000 pounds at a practice level and nearly 1.5 million pounds at CCG level. So that's the background behind our tool. Let's have a look at it now. So what does the tool do? So traditionally, prescribing advice across the NHS to achieve cost effectiveness and savings was quite simple. It used to be prescribed generically, and the NHS has made a lot of savings through that. We now know nowadays that prescribing advice is much more complex. So what our tool does, it looks at every single prescription dispense at a chemical substance level, and it works out if you prescribe it slightly differently, but the patient would still get the same chemical and same dose, uh, could you achieve savings? At the top of the page, we have the methodology, a brief introduction to our methodology, and we also have a full frequently asked questions list, which talks about this in a lot more detail and gives a lot of the caveats and nuances around commonly um, appearing preparations in the tool. Let's have a look at a couple of examples for Camden CCG. Looking at isozorbite mononitrate, 60 milligrams modified release. So we estimate in the last month Camden potentially could have saved. Now this is potentially because there'll be local considerations uh, that need to be made before you make a change like this. But potentially could have saved £2,390. That's because on average they pay 36 pence per unit, whereas the lowest spending CCGs across the NHS actually only spend 12 pence per unit. And we can see the volume here, uh, and that indicates the volume of workload that um, meant prescriptions that would need to be changed. Formulation swap indicates here that the switch can be achieved by switching from tablets to capsules. So clicking on the preparation, we can go in and have a look. Let's look at just Camden CCG for the minute. So on the left-hand side, we have the preparations of how they're prescribed on prescriptions the community pharmacies dispense right now. And at the bottom, we have the price per unit. So in Camden, they prescribe a lot of 60 milligrams modified release tablets, and they pay 38 pence on our, for that preparation, the way it's written. Actually, if they had done it as capsules, and you can see here they have prescribed a lot of capsules, they only pay 32p per capsule. So if in Camden they could have prescribed capsules instead of tablets, which may or may not be acceptable to patients, um, they could have made this savings. You'll also see in the left-hand side there's some other preparations here. These are what's called branded generics. Now, we notice some debate across the NHS about whether these are a good thing or a bad thing. We make no comment on it. But what we do is we present this information so potentially people can make the decision locally if they want to use branded generics or not. We can see across the NHS in England, so we can see where it's prescribed generically here in both tablets and capsules, but we can also see quite a high use of branded generics across the NHS, and people are achieving savings. For a CCG on the bottom, you can see the particular practices where you could focus your work because there might be more impact there. So that's an example of medication. We also have devices because they're sometimes written on prescription in England. So a good example is glucose blood testing reagents, which are commonly known as test test strips, and these are what people who have diabetes use to monitor their condition. They take a little sample of blood, put it on the test strip, which goes into the machine, which gives them a value. 
So in Camden, we estimate potential savings into £4,600 because on average they pay 25 pence per test strip, whereas the low spending CCGs actually only spend 23 pence per test strip. And you can see quite a large volume here of test strips used every month. So going into the presentation again, so we can see in Camden, price per unit, they actually use a lot of test strips which are low price per unit, but they're also using a high amount of test strips with a high price per unit. So potentially in Camden, they could make some savings by using a higher proportion of low price per unit test strips. We can see then here that even within Camden, there's variation amongst their practices on what they pay for test strips on average. So that's a couple of examples. We can see other examples here, cold calciferol or vitamin D, cruticasone, salmeterol, which is a commonly prescribed inhaler. This is our price and tool. We hope it's useful. We hope it'll support CCGs and practices, identify savings um, for the NHS. Please, if you like the tool or have any suggestions, please get in touch with us. Or if indeed you spot anything weird or unusual in the examples that are shown to you, because it will be different for every CCG and practice in the country, please do get in touch with us at feedback at openprescribing.net. That's feedback at openprescribing.net.